Sweet, my man here is back in the trailer in. Drop off the bike in the L driveway. All right, we got it. Looks so sick. I'm. So, it's always you always get that new bike feeling. You're always so excited. So here we go. Here we go. Got the new rig. So this box was um, it was sitting up under here. Had the strap on. I got too excited and pulled off before I got the camera out. So, but it had all the extra stuff in it. So the airbox cover and number plate was in the box. So that's what this is here. Here's the airbox cover and the number plate in there. Uh, front number plate comes in the box. We got a triangle stand, which you know everybody just nobody really uses that. But bar pad. Um, the these are the stoppers that go up back behind the number plate for the exhaust to press up against. It's got some bolts for everything. And front axle <clears throat> bolts for the fork pinch bolts. Um, bar mounts are just the upper bar clamps. Um, we got the skid plate came in the package here rotor cover but here it is came in I, I was kind of nervous about it you can see this thing cage is all kinds of mangled up here <clears throat> but the bike looks fine nothing wrong with the bike no none of the cage you can see this is all pushed in and all that here and so cage is not too good but i mean this is all going to be in the trash anyways but this is the new rig, new tires, threes. I thought the new tires was a 33. I don't know, I, I don't pay attention to enough stuff. But this is the new rig. So now we gotta get this thing unboxed and start pulling it apart, which is unfortunate. I always hate working on new stuff because it's new, you wanna enjoy your new stuff, but gotta get the suspension off, gonna send it off today. So gotta get to work. All right, so I readjusted the crate to make it easier to not tip it over whenever I start unbolting everything. But we're gonna start getting everything apart. It looks like these are all 10 and uh, a couple 12s in some areas, but I don't think every bolt needs to come off. I think just most of them. So we are gonna get all this started so I can get the thing together so I can take it back apart. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and put the handlebars on, uh, just because <clears throat> while I'm pulling them apart, I want something to hang on to once I, I'm assuming, it's got this little stand thing down here holding it up kind of, but I want something to hang on to when it starts to fall, because it will, because it's mine, and I'm gonna break something before I even get to touch it. So we're gonna put the bars on, and then also I can get the brake and the clutch stuff on i don't want to i don't want this hanging upside down because that's how you get air in the line so i don't really like that it's hanging so we're going to go ahead and get that on there and just get the front end kind of started Okay, that <clears throat> probably wasn't the easiest way to do that. Maybe it was, I don't know. The tire was stuck in the slot, made it very difficult to pull it. And if y'all watched my last vlog, I think it's my last one, from Louisiana Super, or Louisiana Arena Cross at No Limits um, Supercross Tour, I hurt my foot. So really I'm supposed to be in a boot right now, but I'm not. I got tired of wearing it and my foot's been feeling okay enough to not want to have to wear it oh my lord look at this there's a scratch on the swing arm you see this send it back full refund i'm just kidding actually i didn't realize so just now so i got this bike at altus motorsports they're in oklahoma they help me out with a lot of stuff um i didn't realize that oh my God, just here I'm wearing this shirt that's kind of how wonderful is that okay so quick side note <clears throat> 
whenever you are, whenever you get a brand new bike and you're getting ready to ride it, so you just picked it up from the dealership and you want to go ride, everybody wants to go get their bike and go straight to the track. I actually did that with my KTM and that's not good to do. I did it just because I had a race coming up and I was like, is it ride that day before the race or don't ride the bike at all before the race? So <clears throat> I did it because it was a last minute situation, but what I'm getting at, you don't want to do that because see my axle here is perfectly dry. It's just dry metal inside of the wheel. You need grease inside these seals and these seals don't come with a lot of grease. Like these, it looks like someone got a Q-tip and put some grease on it and kind of just swabbed it in there and that was it. These are completely dry. I'll let you look inside here. You can see that is completely dry inside the metal. A little bit of grease on that seal, but that is just, that's not good. So you don't want to do that. <clears throat> so never buy a bike and take it straight to the track. You always want to take it apart, pack it full of grease, <clears throat> not just here. I'll probably pull, I'm, I'm going to pull my linkage bearings apart as well. Not the bearings, but the linkage pull the linkage apart and I'm gonna put stuff some grease up in there. I'm going to take the seat off, the batteries under the seat on the Hondas, and I'm going to hook up the battery because the battery's not hooked up right now. I'm gonna hook up the battery, start it up, make sure it fires. And then I'm pulling all the plastic off because I ordered a new plastic. I never run stock plastic. Um, I always, when I get a new bike, I always take the plastic off and then put aftermarket stuff on it, run that. And then when I sell it, I'll put the stock plastic back on just so it has that new look again, makes it just look nice. And, keeps it clean so I'm gonna drop it because my other hand's holding a camera that's weird why is it I don't know why Honda would have gone back to this old setup used to this that washer collar thing was made into the bolt now Honda's gone back to oh separate set. I don't know why they want to do that but <clears throat> pull the seat off here so something I don't know and I'm kind of curious I I think this is answering my own question here, but reading reviews on the bike, they say 2020 Honda air filter is bigger than the 2018 and 2019 250. Um, I don't know if that means just the filter itself is bigger because they say they're doing it to get more airflow. I don't know if they're saying the air filter itself is bigger or it's itself is bigger because the air box inlet is bigger. I don't know. I'm hoping it's just the air filter itself is bigger. I mean, look, here, here's another side note to you guys don't ride a stock bike that hasn't been done anything to yet because there's there's no oil at all on this filter i mean you, i can feel a little bit of tackiness i guess but i would never run a filter like this you <clears throat> got to put oil on your stuff so do not ride a new bike without oiling your own air filter but yeah i'm hoping that filter is just a bigger size filter not the uh actual uh boot inside is bigger that would be unfortunate i already bought a few air filters so that would suck but so I'm gonna get this stuff here hooked up, get the battery hooked up, and then we're gonna fire it up for the first time. So, so we gotta take the battery strap off because we have to get what I just uh, here we go. The bolts, here's the little battery nuts, uh, whatever those things are called. I think it's a pretty simple term of how to what you call them. But you grab these and you just slip the little nut down inside there, drop that in that hole. Okay, whenever you get your new bike, you always wanna go through the fluids, check everything out before you try and start it. So we now have the battery hooked up. You know, this has this clip, like it's supposed to snap into something, but I can't find a hole for that snap into. So I just, I put these wires in the best way I thought they would work. I feel like if they cross, they hold each other down a little better. When I didn't cross, I feel like they move around more. So they're tight, they're good. Air filter, that is going to be oiled before that's used but just starting the driveway won't make a difference it's got gas so come down here check it out uh that's got oil i already tipped it over before Let's see if i can do this without dropping it right real quick you can see it's got oil so oil is good now we're going to come over here and check out the coolant make sure it's got coolant yes it has coolant so topped off on coolant we're good that means we are ready to fire this rig up. Try and crank that thing down. There we go. All right. One of the pains about the Honda electric starts is you have to pull the clutch in to start it. So, let's see if I can do this real quick. There we go. She runs. Don't want to put 
put too much time on it before I get an hour meter in. Everything is good. It's good. That's something I was curious about. Yeah, see this? If you look online, it says they come with a 51 inch rear sprocket. This is a 48. So they come stock with a 13 front, 48 rear sprocket set. Um, it some, says they come stock with a 51. I think I'm going to end up running a 50 on this bike just because Hondas are known for not having the uh, bottom end. So if you go up a, a tooth or two in the rear, it'll help pop up that bottom end a little bit. This insert on Hondas, if you, if you have a Honda, this is the, let's see, when you put the airbox cover and never plate on, that right there, that bolt, put anti-seize, coat this thing in anti-seize, this thing will strip out so fast, this is a brand new bike, brand new bolt, and I'm struggling to put it in there right now, so, um, definitely, like, it's, it's stuck, it doesn't want to go in, so, <clears throat> Uh, definitely coat that in anti seize whenever y'all get one of these things. They it's a bad design from Honda. Honda, if you're watching, well, sponsor me. But yeah, so just be sure to do that. Cause All right, we got the gas tank off the bike <clears throat> now. Uh, I get this um, insulation wrap to put on the tank. It's you put it underneath. Some people put it on top too, but the heat comes from underneath from the motor. It doesn't really come from the top, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. If you know me, you know I'm big about saving weight. I don't like extra weight on the bike. The more weight on the bike, bike weight and body weight are two different things. People don't understand. People think like, oh, just eat less, you know, save some weight on your body. <clears throat> it's different. It's If you think about, if you stick your arm out, and you swing your arm around, and then you do that with a one pound weight or a five pound weight in your hand, it's gonna feel different. So it doesn't matter how big or heavy your arm is, but it's that weight over here in your hand that makes the difference. So it's the same thing on your bike. If the heavier you are, will control how your suspension feels, but you, you can adapt your suspension to your weight. The heavier your bike is controls how much you can flip your bike around. That's why everybody makes a big deal about how much bikes weigh, but bike geometry makes a difference too. But the lighter you can make your bike, the easier it is gonna be to throw around, less weight to manage. So, and every little bit counts. Like this little cable. It goes on the bottom of the tank, straps the tank down to the frame. It doesn't need it. There's three bolts holding the tank down. This just flops around inside of there. I took it off. That little bit of the weight, it's not much at all, but little things like that will add up. I like saving weight. So putting this insulation on, I don't like doing it because it adds weight, but it helps performance the bike. The cooler the fuel is, the better the bike's gonna run. So it's a little bit of give and take. So I'm gonna get this. What I'm gonna do here, I'm going to um scuff this up with the scotch right pad a new scotch right pad not a used one because you don't want any kind of oil or anything new pad i'm just gonna rub this all down make sure that there's a good surface on this so that way this will have something to stick to then once i sc scrape this up get it all get some surface on there spray down some brake cleaner and then wipe it down make sure it's perfectly clean and then we're just gonna layer this over the top of everything and make sure that this is just real nice and insulated Okay, as you can see, we got to wipe down. It's clean. We're, I'm going to give it one more wipe down with the brake cleaner. Just You don't want any kind of oils or anything on there. It's just <clears throat> anything to make sure this stuff stays sticking down. You don't want to start peeling. I'm going to be just one wrap all around the sides, anywhere where it would be touching or close to the frame. And then I'm going to give it a tight wrap around here, just around the fuel pump, just because this is where the motor is going to be hitting is right here. So I want this area as cool as possible. I'll probably give a little bit across this plastic here to keep that plastic a little bit cooler. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna double wrap through here, around here as much as we can. So the, this part's the easiest part, just because it's big and you know it's got. I have to you have to make relief cuts, and everything, make it all fold over and make it look neat. I like my stuff to look neat. I don't like it to look like crap. So this is the easiest part, other than just having to make sure you do the cuts right. <clears throat> but now you got to get to the smaller pieces. Get this here, and I'm gonna have to trim it. Make a triangle deal here, and then just lay it over. Easy way to make power for your bike. 
easy stuff. Some shops will charge up to like two or three hundred dollars to do this to your bike. There is no need for it. Take the fuel tank off yourself, drain it out. Actually, you don't even have to drain it out. If it's too full, you might have to, but like mine has gas in it. It's not dripping. So just put this stuff on. Easy power. Cheap. Alrighty. She's all wrapped up. <clears throat> I put this insulation here just basically only for looks. It looks cool under the thing. It just there's no it, no sense in putting insulation up here the heat comes from the bottom not from the top so it doesn't make sense so i just put it here just so when it's on the bike it'll look cool but this is what we're ending up with came out real nice so i just put these little strips around the uh fuel pump and the bracket and everything here just to block out just that little bit of extra heat and then this plastic it's got to get hot it's on top of that motor so wrap that up as good as i could there to start pulling other stuff off the bike stuff like these there's no sense in them that adds weight there's no sense just aftermarket pipes don't come with those so why would the stock ones it's just more weight i don't want it so get that off there get this off just anything that adds weight that i don't need is going to come off i'm gonna take this air filter off oil the air filter hopefully the um the screen inside the air filter cage, I'm hoping is not made into the cage in this bike. I'm hoping I can just pull it out. I, I think on my old Hondas, you can just break off some tabs and it pops out. So I'm hoping that's the case. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna work around and just pull off stuff that the bike don't need. Okay, as you can see, I have removed the heat shield. I took it off the other side as well. So I got both heat shields off. There's no sense in those things being on there. It'll have these little tabs on here, but if they start catching my boots, I'll just cut them off with a, like a wire cutter or something. There's no sense in them being there. <clears throat> it just adds weight. So that bolt right there. You see that bolt's got that white line on it that touches the motor. So if any of the bolts were to start backing out, you can see, like, okay, this is, the line isn't matching anymore. It's moved. So I'm going to go through it. I'm going to make little lines on all the bolts and just so I can know that in case I have a loose bolt or something, I can catch it. So we're going to do that and we're going to weigh the exhaust. So we're doing different stuff this time. A little bit more calculated approach on the new bike. Okay, so what we are doing here is we're pulling the cage out or the screen out of the cage. All right, so you can see, see these little tabs spread around there. Super easy fix. You just grab your suppliers or a screwdriver, whichever one works. Now, instead of the air having to go through the filter, then this now goes to the filter and this. So that restricts a lot of airflow. So you'll hear, hear a sound difference. It sounds different, throttle response is snappier, just all around more airflow. So I don't, I know why they put them there. It's backfire, you know, it's supposed to keep the filter from catching on fire or whatever. I've never had a bike catch on fire and I've been doing the, this this way since 2012. So. Hopefully this bike isn't my first to do it, but in eight years, I haven't had a problem. So we are going to get some oil on this. I mean, you, you can see, they, it's like they thought about oiling the filter and then didn't. So we're gonna oil that and put it back in the bike. All right guys, so we are done with the bike for today. There's a couple more things I wanted to get done today, but I'm um, just going through repacking um, the bearings and seals and all that, just getting um, grease and everything. But <clears throat> we didn't do that today. We're gonna do that tomorrow, but we did get the suspension off the bike. So got the forks off, um, shock, wherever it's at, there's the exhaust. But um, yeah, so. The Honda's is the worst bike on the planet to pull a shock off of. There's just no simple way. You gotta freaking take the entire subframe off, unbolt it in all four corners, and then take the air boot off and pull the whole system out. I'm glad I'm doing this while it's new, so I don't have to mess with the dirt or anything. But here's that. See, you see the insulation in the tank? It looks cool. But anyways, so the bike is done for today. Um, if y'all have any ideas any recommendations for the 2020 honda 250 or the 19 they're pretty similar but 2020 is an updated version but 
If y'all have any recommendations on how to get more power out of the bike or just anything suspension wise, no matter what it is, any ideas on the bike to make it a better riding bike, leave it in the comments below. And cause I'm trying to make this bike as good as I can. I know a good bit about Hondas, but I don't know everything about these new bikes. So if y'all have any insight information for me, put it in the comments section below or tag somebody that might know so I can get with them and figure out some things about this bike and they can get with me and maybe maybe I can help them with some stuff too. I don't know, but how sick we can make this bike. We're gonna have some more updates coming up to the bike and I'll keep keep y'all in the loop on what's going on with the bike and it's gonna be sick. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to make it a pretty sick race bike. This is gonna be, this bike will probably be my first like actual like mod bike. I've never had a mod bike before. All my bikes always just ran stock, just mainly because of money. But um, I'm trying to trying to finally get actually get my AMA Pro license. I've I have my Canadian Pro license, but that's not really a huge deal. Um, so we're making a run, race some national, race some outdoors or something this year. So <clears throat> um, big plans. But anyways, here's the motor we're putting in our Corvette. I was talking about. So if y'all are into car motors, there's the motor. It's a 383 stroker. These are not the headers we're gonna run. The guy that we got the motor from just gave us the headers, so, so those suck. So, thank you guys for watching. That's the new bike, we're gonna have updates on it. Thank you so much. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell your friends. Let's help grow this channel into something somewhat cool. Thanks guys.